Good morning, investors and traders. In today's segment, I'll be talking about what is happening with gold prices, because obviously there has been quite a lot of volatility in terms of the precious metal. And the question which many traders are battling with is what is next for the gold price? Are we going to see a continuous momentum to the upside or will we see the price moving to the downside that is what we're going to explore in this particular session if you haven't subscribed to our channel i highly recommend you to do so here is risk warning and disclaimers in front of you if you have any questions please feel free to ask your account managers my name is Naim Aslam. I work as a chief market analyst for Evertrade. I come with a wealth of 15 years of trading experience. During this time period, I have worked as a hedge fund trader for Bank of New York Mellon, as an equity trader with Bank of America, and currently providing services as a chief analyst for Evertrade. Now, the chart which is in front of you, this is the gold chart on the daily time frame and the time frame is your daily time frame what we really see is two important things two important sort of a trends over here what what are those trends number one is that this particular sell-off that happened right around this particular area and the second was sell-off that happened over here now of course this sell-off was quite intense and it happened back in november last year this is when the federal reserve started to give a very hawkish comment uh and they, they talked about the you know possibility of winding down the the asset purchase program meaning finishing the drawing the line with in relation to their uh, support for the market or printing the dollar and then this is more recent when the federal reserve uh, you know started to actually talk about more aggressive interest rate hike now according to bank of america we could potentially see seven interest rate hikes this year that pretty much mean the interest and interest rate hike in every single uh, meeting now of course interest rate hikes are negatively correlated with the market meaning when interest rate hikes goes up to the upper uh, to the to the upside the gold price is more likely to move to the downside why and this is because the dollar index the dollar picks up strength like how the interest rate moves higher and the gold price usually would go to the downside so these are the two important things in relation to that uh, but overall, what we really see in terms of the market over here is that the prices are actually trying to make a new high. So that if we focus on this particular area, if we focus on this particular area, and if we focus on these particular areas, we can see that we have a lower high. And then after that, we sorry, lower, uh, a lower low over here. And, and let me just write that again, actually. Uh, so we have a lower low over here, and then we have a higher low over here, as you can see from the low in comparison to the previous one, because this is higher, this is lower low. And then, but over here, we have a higher high, uh, meaning double H right over here. But then afterwards, we do have a higher low forming over here as well which is of course a set slightly a little bit of a concern but look if we compare this one to this one then we completely change the stance because then what we see is that we have a higher high so we have a higher low and we have a higher high which kind of completely tells us that the prices are very much like, uh, going in the upward direction or the trend in the direct is to the upward direction one another important thing to pay attention to really also is that the price is trading above the 200 150 day simple moving average this is certainly very very encouraging sign because as long as the price continues to trade above this area the these particular particular uh um, moving averages all over here we are likely to move to the upside we are likely to see more momentum to the upside than anything else and that is the most important thing because right now the price is coming into this particular area of resistance 
and uh, from from here and it seems like that it has actually broken above that one because this particular area is about to be challenged and it was challenged by this particular candle and if we break here then we are really moving to us at 1847 sort of a price level as our next resistance than anything else so that is the most important thing in relation to that now we're just going to readjust these particular resistance lines a little bit to make them a little bit more sharper uh, for our analysis uh, in terms of finding the right point. So now it's gone to 1853 rather than 1847. Now, once again, one more important thing in terms of uh, gold prices really is to, to keep an eye on the four hour time frame. And once again, the bullish signal is really coming from here, from this particular aspect that the price is trading above the all the three bottom averages. But this is not the perfect bull, uh, signal in terms of the bull signal. Why? Because the RSI, uh, the, the 50 day simple moving average is not trading above the 200 or the 100. Yes, 100 is trading above the 200, how it should be. But 50 is also needs to trade above these two. That would give us a very clear indication that this trend is likely to continue from here. All right. So uh, keep an eye on these particular price levels in the next few days. And then we will see how the price will pan out. One more important thing before we leave. Uh, is the next important support zone or the media support zone is going to be just right over here. However, it won't be it, it won't be no harm if we focus the next support zone or the next area of interest just over here as well, because I do think that this particular area of support could actually serve as a good entry point as well. So 1801 to 1809. That's all for now. See you guys next time.